donkey child was round shot. Don't try to be smart, Julian. Give it a large round shot. Here we are with the fourth line down to the left. And then doing the same thing down to the right. You can connect those two points so they sort of smooth it out. And don't worry too much about where you're going. This is the top of our little two step. And that's cool. Okay? So we're going to draw some lines. Now, unlike circles, quadrants are round lines. They're going to have thick, stocky legs, kind of similar to ours. an upside down V. A fairly good sized V. Right about here. Next, take this line and continue it down the bottom. What we've done here is made a mini circle. And by continuing down here, deflecting this line, we've made the back of the letter give it more definition, what we can do is we can take this line here and loosely make a right angle coming off of it, like this one, but with a curved line. Let me show you what I mean. This is the letter. This would be a right angle to this line. So what we're going to do is make a curve. In fact, let's make that letter. And I'll show you why. Just by adding that letter in and that curve, we wind up making a dot. Isn't that cool? So we missed it. We're going to do it again over here. Do a nice little dot again. Dot, 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 dot. A line that complements the other one. couple of curled lines on either side of it. Hey, hey, got a couple of legs. And we'll see those pretty easily before I end my lesson, all right? From what I know, I'm sure I'll look at a picture of a tortoise after this and realize I'm glad I got it done. But I do know that this is a kind of a long chain step. Rather than a turtle that has webbed feet, it's just claws on it. They swim in the web. Next, let's give this guy a little shape. So there's one curved line, and this is the base of the curve that we want. And then another one, meeting it at the top like that, starting a little bit below. We can connect this area right there with a curve, a little reverse shape. start over here at the front of the shell, and we want to make a kind of an F shape right here, a stop. Don't go too far. I want there to be a little circle right there at the end of that F. Then on the other side of the shell, as if continuing from that line, make big reverse shape, like that. Next, we want to make another line that reflects this line to continue the neck of the torso. So this line kind of follows that one. And we can end it the same way we ended the tail, with a C going in the direction of the letter. Since we have had the tail and the leg is on one side, we pretty much know where the head is going to be. So 
dark here. Go down here just a little bit and close under the lens of that. Then imagine what it would do on the other side. I'm swinging it a little further to adjust to the back of that lens. And then over here, bring it back up and use the turtle as neck hook. That has the effect of light. You can make pure black on the bottom of this. These aren't the most exciting lines. These are actually the texture of a character's body. And why not? We can also put the mist line on it. Give it a bit of a shadow. That it's coming over the bottom. What you're going to want to do is just make a pen swivel with your marker or pencil or whatever underneath the shell going across like that. Then just sort of fill in any gaps in there. That'll give a bit of a shadow, a bit of an uneven shadow underneath the shell. Can make any kind of pattern you really want on the corner of the shell if you want to be creative. I think for the shell, it often looks like this with kind of a soccer ball kind of a thing going on. I live in New York City, and my clothes were quite outdated, pretty expensive. I think they have some over in Hungary. I've seen turtles a lot over in Chinatown. Some people buy them as pets. Same thing for the shell. I'm basically doing here is just making geometric shapes and connecting them. Because I don't really know what a character's going to look like. If you want to do this more accurately, I would suggest, you know, working with a conservatory. You can use some shading techniques to kind of flesh things out a little bit. So that the pattern seems to be reflecting the shape of the shell. Is that the right term? I don't know. If you do, put it in the comments and let us know. There you are. A little bit more shadow down here. See, it's starting to look like a shell now. Tortoises can live to over 100 years old. And the oldest living turtle is 182 years old. And his name is Donkey. Next, what you're going to want to do is give us the eyeball. Why not? Let's give him a little eyelid. Just a little line that goes across the top of the eye. And then a little curve in there. <laughs> there you go. Then you can make a little curve behind this line and just kind of imply a mouth. You can bring the line in a little bit more if you want. And you can put some shading on the tail. that it's underneath the tail, the tortoise, excuse me. It's a little easier just to confuse the two. I believe in it. Come to a conclusion. It's a tortoise. If you can live on the ground, you can use that grass texture to give him a place to be. A kind of run pattern right past the bottom of his feet. Maybe you even give him a little flower crown. Can't imagine a weirder snack 